My name is Olivia, I work for the foreign manufacturing company, Ichiban Japan. You might not notice, but I am a returnee who studied abroad during college. In my company, I belong to the sales promotion department, which tests my ability to make accurate judgments and discriminations. Despite the pressure of such a job, I lived a full life in my own way. On that day. Oh, hey Olivia. Dad, Sush. I always tell you not to talk to me in a friendly way in the office, don't I? Oh yeah, right. How's work today? Well, it's okay. Well. Well, you still have a long way to go. I know it's a lot of work, but you'll be fine. I'll do my best. See you then. It was my father who talked to me. It was my dream to work for the company where my father works, and I had been working hard since I was a student to get the job offer. I was told that I needed to have a TOEIC score of 900 or higher, so I studied abroad. I am currently working in the sales promotion department. Oh, Olivia, you only act fast at lunchtime. Oh, hi, Lisa. Our sales promotion department needs to be able to make quick and accurate decisions. What? Oh my god, I'm sorry, my native accent is exploding again. No, it's okay. But, as a returnee, you should be able to understand this level of pronunciation. Yes, that's right. I guess. Well, now go back and check your files. Okay. This is Lisa, my trainer. She has been working here very long, and she always mixes English words between conversations. That was still fine, but I was annoyed by her because she complained to every little things and made me do everything. Another day. I had enough lunch today. Amelia, no one eats that much in the company cafeteria. Ha ha ha. That's because today we have both katsudon and curry udon. You sure eat both. Oh my gosh. Isn't that Amelia from the marketing department? Why don't you just say it normally, the way you say it is so annoying. Pardon? What did you say? No, nothing. Hey, could you please tell Olivia? Tell her what? Whatever I teach her, she's no good at all, everyone has problems with her because she distracts us. Oh no, I'm late. Unlike someone else, I'm very busy. While I was talking to my colleague Amelia, Lisa came over and started to put me down. When Amelia saw this, she said, Olivia, don't worry about what the bitch said. You are doing exactly what you are supposed to be doing. We know that. Besides, it's Friday. Let's grab a beer on the way home today. Okay? Amelia. Yes, right. Then let's work hard this afternoon for a good beer. Thanks to Amelia's encouragement, I made it through the day. I stayed at my parents' house after drinking with Amelia and spent the morning doing nothing but relaxing. Then. Oh. Who is calling? Is that Amelia? Wow. It's Lisa. It's my day off. Hello. Hello, Olivia? I know it's a day off. Since it's your day off, I'm sure you're spending the time being lazy. Well, what can I help you? Listen, I called you because I have something very important to tell you. It's a message from the boss. He told me that you are fired. What? Your incompetence. I guess it was reported to the boss as well. I've told you repeatedly that you are bad at your job, but you didn't listen. I can only say that this is your own fault now. Well. Hey. I'm still talking. Shut up and listen until the end. I'm listening. Look, we are the biggest company in the industry, you know? Every department in the company is full of talented people. Only our department has a person who is like a sloth, and that bothers everyone. And that also makes me look like a smart person even more to others, which is not my intention. This is also not good that this situation makes you look bad at your job even more. Um, did the president tell you that directly? Yes. Unlike you, I am a well-known person in the company. 
But... Stop! You deserve it because you always make excuses instead of doing your job. Whatever! Don't ever come to my office again! I was confused because I could not understand what Lisa was talking about. Then... What do you mean by don't come to my office anymore? Oh, is it Olivia's dad? Yes, did my daughter cause any trouble? She did, actually. She doesn't do her work. I do all of her work for her, so it's hard for me every day. The company sees this as a problem and decided to fire her. I'm calling her now because the president of the company asked me to do it. Well, that's new to me. That's right, you are not from our company. It's so pathetic that a woman who is old enough is fired. I'm sorry to hear that. I totally feel you. I never gave such a decision though. What? The company is my company. My? What? Does that mean? Am I talking to the president right now? Yes, you are. I don't remember giving such instructions. Oh no! It seems there are a lot of questions I have to ask you. Let's hear the details in the president's office. Come to the president's office on Monday when you come to work. My dad hung up the phone with being very angry. Then Monday came. I went to the office with dad and waited for Lisa in the president's office. Excuse me, good morning, Mr. President. Oh, good morning. You must be Lisa. Olivia told me about you. Is it true that Olivia is not working and you have to cover her? Well, that's... Is it true or not? It's an easy question that you can answer yes or no. Then the answer is yes. What? I was a little confused because I didn't expect that you came out. Now that I've calmed down, I can really talk about Olivia. I had no idea that you were her dad, so I was surprised. Well, then I guess we can talk now. Shall we talk more about what we talk on the phone? Yes, Olivia's work attitude is not very complimentary. As soon as she arrived at the office, she makes a cup of coffee. And she just sits in front of the computer and does nothing. Oh, and then? As I told you on the phone, she makes me do all her job. As you know, we are a business development department. It's very annoying to have someone who has a habit of being lazy like her because it makes it hard for everyone to concentrate. I've been warning her, me being a bad guy. But she doesn't listen to me at all. Is that true? Of course it is, she is just a salary thief. It seems she hasn't told anyone that she is the president's daughter. But she's still the president's daughter, so she has a big attitude. That's all a lie. There's not a single fact here. While Lisa was talking about me, Liam the secretary came in with Amelia and told Dad that everything she said was a lie. Hey, Amelia! What do you mean a lie? I mean exactly what I said. You're the one with the attitude. You are always careless, so you make a lot of mistakes. Hey, hold on, Amelia! I'm having an important conversation with the president, so don't interrupt me. Amelia is an important witness, so I brought her here. Oh no, even you talk to me like that, honey? Gosh. Your attitude has changed so fast. Sick. And how can you come up with lie after lie? I was stunned when I was listening to it. Hey! Can you just stop talking? You should also watch your language. You were talking about Olivia not doing her job. Aren't you the one who forces her to do the work you should be doing? That's not true. That's a lie. Actually, my trainer during my rookie training was Lisa. She made me do all her own job and never answer the outcoming call no matter how busy I was. She would also say, Amelia. I want you to make me a cup of coffee to wake me up. And made me make your coffee every morning, did you? Now that's what I do for her. What? I just ask plus one when you make your own coffee. I was told clearly make the coffee though. 
and you said I was just sitting in front of the computer. I check my email before I start working. That's what she told me during my training. She also said that young people are lazy that using the company internet in the morning. Mr. President, everything Lisa said is a lie. It was Lisa who was not working. Lisa heard the report from Liam. Hey, don't be rude. I'm a smart woman. Are you still refusing to admit your attitude? Excuse me, I'm looked up to by people in other departments. They don't look up to you, they just keep their distance. Liam, I'm sorry to ask you for a favor so suddenly. That's okay, sir. I heard about it from my colleagues and the seniors who took care of me during my training. Lisa has an arrogant attitude towards not only Olivia and Amelia, but other staff as well. She just sits at her desk. And yet she makes others work, which is annoying to be with her in the office. Ha! Huh. Just as I imagined. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm a very hardworking person. Ha! Huh. What are you talking about? Well, it's the fate of a successful woman to be jealous at work. I'm constantly changing departments and accumulating achievements, so everyone is jealous of me. Not at all. You are shunned by everyone. You're the one who's just a nuisance to us. That's envy. I thought I got used to it, but it still hurts when people are jealous of me. You were transferred to different departments. Because every time you were transferred, all the people in that department complained about you. What? No matter which department you go to, you just increase the workload of the other employees. When you made a mistake, you just leave while everyone else had to cover you up to catch up. The next day you didn't even apologize. When everyone was concentrating, she would exquisitely interrupt them, which lowered the motivation of the entire team. That's why you were transferred from one department to another. If you really are good, your salary and bonus would have gone up a lot. If all you do is make trouble, I'm sure there won't be any changes. In fact, Lisa was transferred to another department every time she caused problems. However, Lisa herself seemed to think that this was because she was a competent employee. That is not true. If you transfer someone who can't do anything to a department, they send you to other departments because you just disturb others. And, no matter which department you go to, your work attitude hadn't changed, and you don't do your job. You just have been staying at this company this long. And you act like you're better at jobs, telling people to do this and that. I don't remember doing that. It's even worse when you do it unconsciously. Lisa, why did you call me and lie about me? Just because I thought Olivia was leaving the company. Didn't you know he would find out right away that you did that to her? I didn't know then. What? You didn't know? Seriously? Why are you guys acting like you knew it? Even though they didn't mention that they are dad and daughter. Everyone knows. I can't believe you didn't know. Seriously? Is it something that everyone knows? I can't believe this. Olivia presented the president with a bouquet of flowers on behalf of the employees on the company's anniversary. I just thought Olivia was flirting with him. Of course not. She is not you. You should have told me such things. I thought that if I made it public, people around me would be awkward. So I discussed it with Dad and decided not to mention it. Still, there are people who know information in every company, so people usually know things. I didn't know then. Because you don't have anyone in the company you can talk to. And they also know that you take company equipment home. It was caught on the company security camera. If you want, we can all watch it together. Not only was Lisa not doing her job, but she was also taking company stuff home with her. The more we talked, she became fishy even more, and Lisa. That equipment is... The hard disk recorder from the equipment room and the old projector we used to use for meetings, the laptop and the coffee sticks in the office. We don't know how much you took. What the hell were you thinking? We don't need people not doing their job and doing things like that in the office. I can't believe you nag people and then do this behind our backs. 
I bet everyone around you won't shut up now. Wait a minute. You're not going to make this public? It will be a good example for them what not to do. What do you mean by examples? You don't have to come to work anymore. I will inform the further information as soon as possible. Does that mean... What? Does that mean I'm fired? Is there anything else? Wait, please. I just took a longer break than the others. Then what about the equipment? How do you explain that? That's... I wanted to work from home, so, you know? You work when you're at work. I'm impressed that you're so dedicated to your work. Please don't fire me. From now on I'll work more than anyone else and I'll work overtime. At this company we hardly ever work overtime. If you don't make mistakes, there's no need for everyone around you to work overtime. Then I won't make any mistakes either. And I return all the equipment I bring home. How can you return something that has already been sold on eBay? Hey, why do you know that? Because you put it on social media like an idiot. Well, I'm going to buy the same thing and return it, so please don't fire me. That's not what I meant, Lisa. If you are working this long, you know what I mean. You need to change your attitude. I'm done talking to you, now get out of my office. Lisa was fired. Her only pride was that she worked for a big company and wore expensive clothes. She used her credit card to make payments and was even in debt. Apparently, the equipment she took from work was to pay off some of the debt. After being fired for these reasons, Lisa was hopelessly unable to find another job in the same industry. Unable to find another job, she found herself in debt and living in extreme poverty. On top of that, she fell behind on her rent and was evicted from her apartment. So, Lisa lost everything, but her debts and her karma came all at once, and she is now living in some streets. From then I was. The president's office has such a fluffy carpet. You don't usually come to this floor, right? No, none of my colleagues are assigned to the secretarial section, and I don't usually interact with people who work on this floor. It's been so long since I've been on this floor too, and I was a bit nervous. That's because you never say yes to my invitation for lunch. Even Mr. President becomes dad in front of Olivia. Because I'm her dad. After Lisa left, the company returned to a peaceful, energetic, and fun atmosphere. The people who were Lisa's seniors were also happy that the person who had been bothering them for so long was no longer there. And we have tea in the president's office from time to time after that incident. Dad seemed to be the happiest, but both Amelia and Liam seemed to enjoy it. And I, too, will do my best to enjoy my work as much as I can, while spending time laughing with everyone, so that my days will be as full as everyone else's.